it wouldn't be a Salome Davidze singles match unless there was some lying controversy. Over the weekend, the PPA Hertz National Championships happened, and her match against Catherine Prento was nothing short of the same as usual. The singles match started off as any other singles match would. A lot of great points, a lot of good back and forth, with Catherine oh, Prento coming out to a quick lead in the beginning. And plays the angle perfectly. It isn't until 10-9 when we see our first controversy. Catherine Parento hits a great ball down the side that appears to land right on the line. By looking at Catherine Parento, you can tell she thinks the ball is in right away, but Salome calls it out right away. She didn't see it enough to overrule, so we're tied at 10. Let's go ahead. Looking at the ball in slow-mo and also zoomed in, it's really hard to tell. From my perspective, I think the ball looks in, but it could look slightly different in person, so it's really hard to tell. Game. Nonetheless, this call is very, very tight. Consequently, Catherine Prento does the exact same thing to Salome on the very oh, next point. Out. This ball also is very, very close so and almost impossible to call one way or another. Salome is going to go over and ask, did you get a look at that? And Tony Jaden, the that? second referee, he said that it was in. Wow. Catherine can't be too happy with Crazy that. Crazy enough, the referee actually Salome overturns this call and it's a point for Salome. I think she said thank you very much and kind of finger wagged to get the ball back to her end. Yeah, I mean, a lot of frustration on both ends here. A couple out calls, a couple in calls that both players didn't agree with the other. Being said, we play on and it's 11-10. Here again, we have a very, very tight line call. Catherine calls it out immediately and Salome in disbelief as soon as she hears the out call. Zooming in on this one, it almost looks like from this perspective, the ball lands right on the line. But again, we're not there in person, so it is a little harder to tell. Tavice misses on that one. I didn't see it. Let's call out. Side out. Salome asking for confirmation on the call. This line call is almost on identical to the first Waters. one that Salome called out. This time, Catherine Parento calls it out, and Salome is not happy with the call. Salome. Out of all the close calls so far, this one does appear to be the farthest out, or almost looks definitely out in my perspective. Waters. Side up. The ball was here. The ball was out. Salome. No, I saw it very clearly. The ball was out. Questioning the call and. Nonetheless, the match goes on and back and forth. We have even more line calls. This one is super close and extremely hard to tell one way or another. But unfortunately, we have a bad Salome view with the guaranteed rate sign right now. Wow, that's a close one. I want to see that. Catherine yeah, asking no the official. Today. And now Ask. Catherine was asking for a video challenge. There's only video challenges on Sunday. <laughs> Guess it was not. The last line call, Salome reacts the exact same way as soon as she hears it was DJ out. With the, fist bump. the ref quickly overturns this one and play continues. The ball was out. Yeah, I thought that ball was actually a little bit out, too, Dave. Um. He's a fist pumped, and, and it was called out by Parento. Oh, man, that Salome does end up coming away with the win here. But unfortunately, this is becoming an occurrence at almost Indeed, every tournament can. for her. Parento what are you guys' thoughts on this? Please comment down below.